Hey guys, just wanted to talk to you today uh, about the saddle game and uh, how the saddle world has kind of taken over the, the hunting market, so to speak, and the mobile hunter. Uh, it's, uh, it's been around for over probably 20 to 30 years, but uh, for whatever reason, these last couple of years, uh, thanks to companies like Tethered and uh, Out on a Limb, and uh, a bunch of other smaller companies, uh, the saddle game has definitely taken over the uh, hunting market. So today we're gonna talk about a new uh, small company that's uh, making big noise in the saddle world, and that is Cruiser. Cruiser is a new uh, company that is out, and they make an unbelievable saddle. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get one of their saddles. I bought one, I don't have any affiliation with the company, but I talked with uh, the owner of Cruiser, uh, Chad Rice, and uh, he was uh, super, super easy to get in touch with and responded to all my questions. I chose uh, their saddle over some of the bigger companies just based off of uh, the information and the research that I did on it. And uh, I'm super, super happy with it. And today we're gonna break it down and talk more in depth about the Cruiser saddle. One of the reasons that uh, I did uh, choose this particular saddle uh, was through the conversation with the owner uh, Chad Rice and uh, I spoke with him because I've uh, I've had some back issues over the years. I'm not a, a, a spring chicken uh, So I have some lower back issues and that was always going to be a concern of mine um, So when I went with this I actually talked to him and asked him about the back issues and one of the things that he told me um, that was a huge selling point was for me was that he actually has a couple bulge discs in his back and that's why he created this saddle the way it is and to make it as comfortable as possible because he loved hunting out of the saddle but uh, you know with the back issues he wanted to make sure that it was something that was going to be comfortable for an all-day sit. Um, I haven't sat in it all day but I'm really looking forward to uh, trying that out and then uh, I don't see why there's going to be any problems uh, with uh, sitting in this all day. This uh, particular saddle is the Cruiser XC um, it uh, prices out uh, basically without any uh, any special uh, anything special added to it is $220, uh, which I thought was a, a pretty fair price. Uh, the XC uh, is called the XC because it has this pleat, this comfort channel in the middle, uh, so you can actually open this up uh, for more comfort, to for more coverage on your butt while you're in it, and then it just uh, basically folds back into place uh, once you once you get it back in. And it's, uh, it, the material is like a black mesh material. It's quiet. Um, the one thing that I found out right away was the, uh, basically just the stitching on this particular uh, uh, saddle is, is really, really nice. It's uh, really well done. Um, it comes with two rows of Molly uh, loops on it, a loose row and then a tighter row. Uh, the uh, lineman's tether, uh, are stitched right in. They're basically part of the molly loops. And then it comes with uh, the inside of the the, the, the uh, tether is uh, bright orange so you can kind of see it uh, in the dark. And then you have your bridge loops, uh, which are quite stiff, um, that are basically just part of the actual framework, I guess, so to speak, of the, of the uh, uh, saddle itself. Uh, it comes with uh, some really nice buckles. Uh, got these, Raptor buckles here that uh, these are for your waist. Uh, these buckles uh, are very nice. Uh, they clip into place really easy. Uh, you can actually flip these around so that, so in the dark or wherever you don't have any issues uh, twisting up your uh, twisting up your your belt when you put it on. So uh, it comes with a couple leg loops. Uh, leg straps also with the raptor buckles same same as the uh, as the belt itself uh, Those are rever you know reversible type uh, as well. They're a little bit smaller and they are adjustable as well so um, The base model for the saddle comes with a rope bridge uh, you can add a uh, You can add an uh, adjustable am steel bridge as well if you want. I just went with the rope bridge because I just wanted to try it out to see uh, how it works. I'm kind of on the fence on whether or not I'm going to uh, continue to use it or not or, or upgrade to the AM steel bridge. Well, it just depends on how it slides in the, uh, in the carabiner on my, uh, on my tether. 
Uh, but beyond that, it comes in three different sizes. Uh, size one is uh, a waist of 28 to 32. Size two is a 32 uh, to 38. And then uh, size three is a 30, I believe it's 36 to 42. So uh, I went with the size two, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I thought uh, potentially that it might be a problem because it was too tight uh, because I, I wear a, a pretty heavy duty set of bibs. Uh, the Sitka bibs, the Sitka Fanata bibs, and they are somewhat big and bulky, but uh, this this uh, saddle fits around them perfectly. Uh, and I'll do a, a video of that uh, sometime later on. But uh, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of the uh, the saddle. Um, I think when you order one of these saddles for right now, uh, they've they've kind of upped their uh, their speed as far as getting. Uh, the saddles to you, when I ordered this one, I think I, it took about three weeks to get. So, like I said, they're a small company and they're working to uh, get that down to a, a, a shorter period of time. But the saddle, you could potentially wear this in to, the, uh, to your tree or it basically, I mean, it rolls up into a pretty, pretty small package. You could put this in your backpack as well and uh, without any issues and carry it in and then put it on. So let's put the saddle on. Uh, basically what I like to do is I like to take and uh, put my hands in the bridge and then grab a hold of the buckles. Uh, so basically it's kind of opened up and then you basically just step into it like you would a step into a pair of pants and then grab your, uh, your belt loop, cinch it around, tightens up nice. It's got a nice little keeper right here. And then now you're ready to go. You can grab between your legs, pull up your uh, loops your leg loops and those clip into place nice and easy. Uh, like I said, these can be twisted. These, uh, and these, these buckles go either way. Uh, you know, whether you go in this way or you can actually twist them around and they'll still clip. That's a nice option. So, and then you can tighten these up, uh, for the walk in and, and, and loosen them up for when you get into the tree. So this, for the most part, it fits really, really well. Uh, I'm a, a 36 waist, so this fits me nice. Um, it, it's, uh, it's something that's pretty streamlined, and you could basically, I, what I like to do is I like to take my bridge and just put it down kind of into this loop or this belt buckle here, and that keeps out of your way, and you can walk around and do whatever you need to do uh, as far as getting to the tree, and your hands are free. So aside from just the basic saddle, you have... Uh, multiple different kind of packs that you can get. I bought this uh, bag here from uh, Eastern Woods Outdoors. I think it's uh, doublesteps.com is where you can uh, uh, get these particular bags. Uh, you can get them with straps or you can get them with the little molly, uh, molly loops here. Um, I love them, they're, in, they're inexpensive and uh, they're durable, they're quiet. Uh, I believe these are like a fleece type material. And uh, basically what this does is you can slide it right up through the uh, molly loop like so. Uh, you want it to be a little bit snug going in there, but uh, anyway, that'll come through, pull that through, and then it's tight, and then obviously you can push this one through, like so, and now you've got a pack that you can keep your ropes in, uh, super, super durable, super easy, uh, quiet, and uh, I keep, I actually keep both my ropes in here, my, uh, my bridge rope, and then also my tether uh, for going up into the tree. And those fit, uh, I could fit both ropes right in this pack. And then I just keep my, uh, my bridge rope, I just keep that hitched right to my uh, lineman's, uh, my lineman's loop right there. It's got a nice little bungee cord type clip or clasp, cinch it up and everything's nice and snug. So this is basically what my saddle looks like with uh, both my pouches. Uh, in this pouch, like I said, I've got my, uh, both my sets of ropes, my tether rope and my bridge rope. And then in this pack, I've got my, uh, my gear strap for, for when I go up around the tree. It's a, it's a tethered strap, a uh, really nice strap. Uh, it's basically a daisy chain type. And then I've got uh, the hero clip. Uh, attached to one side for my bow and then a couple uh, three uh, three other s clips uh, that I use for say a grunt call my binoculars and uh, and maybe my range finder and this balls up real nice you can put it right in your pack so that's one of the first things that you'll grab right when you uh, get up into your tree 
cinch it up like this and you're ready to go. Uh, another great addition that I came up with, uh, and this is something also from uh, doublesteps.com, uh, uh, Eastern Woods, I think. It's called a K Kydex uh, J Loop. And what this is, is this is uh, just like a little plastic keeper that goes right into your molly. And then you can take your uh, sticks and basically you put a piece of parachute cord and uh, put it around your uh, stick and then you can just hang hang your stick right off your uh, your saddle going up a tree. These are great. I also use, uh, I have one on each side for each stick and then one off for off the back for my platform. So basically I have everything in my hands or, or I'm basically I'm hands free when I'm going up the tree and everything that I need, uh, sticks, platform is right at, uh, right at my fingertips. Here is a look at uh, basically, I've got uh, my saddle on, I've got uh, my stick uh, I've got one stick on the tree right now, um, and then I've got another stick right here on the side that I put in that little Kydex, Kydex hook uh, with the parachute cord. And then obviously I have another one uh, holding my platform. So I'd go up the tree, I'd have another stick on this side, and then uh, I would have my uh, bow, bow uh, uh, string uh, basically hanging from, uh, from the saddle or my backpack going up this tree. So basically you can go up the tree with all your groceries that you need for <laughs> to get hunting. Uh, if you wanted to do it in one shot, uh, just go up, have everything set. You could probably do it that way. Myself personally, what I like to do is get my stuff set up uh, and then come back down the tree and kind of cool off before I put on, uh, put on my hunting clothes and then go back up. So, uh, but yeah, this is basically what it looks like. It's uh, all nice and easy and nice and uniform. So uh, let's climb up the tree and uh, we'll get things set up and uh, let's get a look at uh, how comfortable the saddle is. I would always suggest to stay tied in uh, when you're getting things set up. That way you're always connected to the tree. So we will take and we'll get our bridge in, get that cinched up and now we can loosen up our lineman's belt, tuck that back into our pouch Keep that out of the way and now we can settle in to the saddle. Uh, I like to loosen up my belts and my leg straps that way there's no restrictions at all. But I will have to say this sucker's pretty comfy. Not gonna lie. It's uh, definitely uh, Definitely something that I could, uh, the initial set in it is nice. It cups around your butt nice. Comes up your back if you need it to for back support. A lot of guys put a back band in, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna need anything like this. Uh, you can swing around. You know, it's really quiet, really comfortable. Obviously, I would probably have a step on the back side here for my bow, but uh, the initial reactions, this sucker is comfy. So I think it's gonna be a, a really uh, a really nice option for me. Uh, one thing that I haven't quite uh, made a decision on is whether I'm gonna keep this rope, uh, rope bridge or whether I'm gonna get the Amsteel bridge. I know with the Amsteel, uh, it's slicker and you can actually rotate more, but this isn't too bad how it rotates. It's, it's got a little bit of a little bit of friction, probably a little bit more than the am steel, but uh, I think initially uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good fit. What I like to do is have this strap here. This is the one from Tethered. And you can put this around the tree like so and just tie it off and you can put your bow in this strap right here. That way when you get up to the tree, that's probably one of the first things that uh, a person should do is get this strap set. Uh, that way you can get your pack off and get everything hung up. But as far as the saddle goes, this baby's nice. Uh, I like the, uh, the, net, the webbing, uh, especially it'll come in handy for uh, hotter weather, early season. You won't sweat as much, but uh, I'm really liking it so far, it's very, very comfortable.
Uh, one thing that guys have an issue with, and it's probably a big hot topic when it comes to saddles, is hip pinch. And uh, my initial reactions with this is there is literally <laughs> little to no hip pinch whatsoever. It's very comfortable. The you know the 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 uh, the bridge loops come up and nice around your waist, and it's it's basically almost like you're sitting in a hammock type thing. So, yeah, no hip pinch whatsoever uh, with this one. And I wouldn't say this is what you would consider like a minimalistic uh, type saddle. This one's more of a comfort rated uh, saddle. I know uh, some of the other companies, they make a smaller, you know, much smaller uh, butt section. And uh, this one is actually quite, quite large, but uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of almost like a diaper. So uh, sucker fits good. One thing that I like about this saddle is you actually have the option to, to keep it somewhat minimalistic or you can open it up uh, for more of a hammock style uh, for comfort. Um, it's got this really nice pleat in it. Uh, I think they call it like a comfort channel is what it's called. And you can actually open that up uh, and spread out the seat itself when you're in the tree. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it's a nice option to have. And then it actually will go right back into shape um, if you need it to. Uh, so, I mean, this is a, just kind of an added, added extra for comfort, but uh, I really like it. Um, it. It seems to be really comfort, comfortable around, uh, around the, the butt section. And if I were a bigger guy, I don't think I would hesitate to, uh, I don't think I would hesitate to sit in one of these at all. Uh, everybody's built different, but uh, for me, uh, comfort is definitely the one thing that you want to, uh, have especially when you're deer hunting because time time on stand is 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 going to be time uh well spent and uh, it just leads to more success in the tree so but uh like i said you can open that up raise that up and it just gives you a little bit extra support uh it doesn't have a whole lot of bite around your uh, bottoms of your legs so you don't have that issue but uh, initially it's a really great fit i'm really happy with it so guys you might ask is this uh, saddle uh, going to be worth it for me? Um, I would def definitely say yes. I highly recommend this uh, uh, this particular saddle. Um, I think all the saddle companies are great. Every one of them is really easy to get in touch with, talk to. But uh, I decided to go with this one. It's a small company. Uh, this is American-made stuff, so I'm... Listen, I'll pay a little bit extra money for American-made products uh, in this day and age. So, I mean, this is something that uh, I really enjoy uh, doing, uh, supporting a, a local local companies. Uh, I do believe that uh, they are located in uh, Tennessee, uh, Cruiser is. So, um, you can always reach out to uh, Chad. Uh, Chadrick Rice is his name, and he's on Facebook. Uh, he's on a lot of the Saddle, uh, Saddle Hunter forums and uh, Facebook pages, but... Uh, I think this is going to be a great addition to uh, my hunting, uh, mobile hunting setup for this year. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything about this, I will leave uh, all the links to Cruiser um, uh, and any of the things I would use in this video. Um, and if you guys uh, have any questions in regards to anything else, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you know, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys like uh, what you're seeing uh, and then uh, reach out to me uh, I'm on Facebook and Instagram and uh, as far as that goes guys this is going to be a great like I said this is going to be a great addition to uh, my hunting setup this year so cruiser saddles definitely two thumbs up for these guys talk to you guys later thanks appreciate y'all